Hello everyone, welcome back to another video here on Play on GAA with me Seamus Brady and Mayo journalist Chloe Lynch. In this video we're going to be talking about the ladies quarter final between Meath and Galway which Meath won by 112 to 111. The All-Ireland champions taking another step toward potentially defending their crown but is it, is it safe to say Chloe in this game they were pushed a bit closer than they thought they would have been? Um, well, in my opinion, now they got the shocker of their lives. Um, you know, the point, you know, being all Ireland champions, you know, you shouldn't be like you shouldn't be like dependent on that one point, you know. Um, they did very well, you know. Galway, we've seen Galway have Galway have had a really good season, you know, up to that point. You know, that you can't take away from it that they're uh chronic champions, you know, but me being me, you know, we're seeing we saw the dominance throughout this. Uh, last year but you know like they got I'd say they got the biggest shock of their lives but you know in up to this point you shouldn't be depending on that one point to try and get you through and there was mo obviously there was moments throughout where like I thought Galway would have pulled out the shocker but um you know Emma Duggan saved the day and um kind of me just proved why they're all Ireland champions yeah, no, that, that last minute point from Emma Duggan, she kicked one, two on the day, but that last last second point, I mean, bear in mind, this is with 15 seconds left on the clock. Emma Duggan booms that one over. Meath won 12, Galway won 11. But right up until then, Meath were firmly, firmly in control heading into the last quarter before Galway hit their burst with Eva Noon getting that goal. She smashed it in from a left-hand angle and Roisin Leonard in the 56th minute level the game up for Galway from a position where Meath were so so dominant cruising to a victory that must be a concern now for Eamon Murray going forward that they've shown they can be rattled heading into the last you know the final few minutes like I'd say no manager would have been happy like uh, men or women would have been happy with that with that performance like you know you want to you want to go into this stage of the game proving that you can keep hold of the, of the crown. Like, you know, um, like when you just look at the stats, they just kind of, you know, me kind of maybe just were a bit too confident going in thinking they might have had it in the bag. And like Galway off, obviously got them off, off guard when they did. And like, you know, they kind of, um, it was obviously back, back and forth, back and forth. But, um, you know, kind of just being the All Ireland champions that they were, you know, the point, they just got very lucky with the point. But um, you know, you can't take anything away from Galway. Like, you know, being able to put up that performance against All Ireland champions and, you know, they're the kind of champions, as I said, in their own respective right. But um, you know, be interested now, will will only winning by the point like make them wake up a bit for the next round. Yeah, like it's one of those things that, I mean, Kerry in 2009 is an example that I like to use. Like they barely got past Ligo, barely got past Antrim in the qualifiers and they played Dublin in the quarterfinals and they were like, okay, we can't put in a performance like that against these or they will beat us and they hammered us and went on to win the All-Ireland. So that could be the wake-up performance for me to be like, all right, we're going into the semi-final next against Donegal who've beaten Dublin. We need to step up our performance now because Donegal will beat us if we play to that level again. And I think, look, they probably will. We have to give a massive shout out to some of the Galway girls that were fantastic. I mean, the likes of Olivia Divley, Eilish Morris, Leanne Cohn, of course, even Noon with that goal that, um, that was massive. Roisin Leonard as well came off the bench. Tracy Leonard's sister, two of them were fantastic. Leonard came in, changed the game. The like Galway this year have been excellent. Like, you know, we saw it like from against Mayo, you know, they were just absolutely dominant from start to finish. And like, you know, say even for the comic final, like it took I I took uh, Mayo at least at least the se at the end of the first half, early second half to try and get a, even a point. And, um, you know, they're all like obviously they're dominant throughout. And, you know, it's another team. We kind of um another team kind of a shocker for the uh, uh, season in general being getting this far and like apologies to all Galway people but um, you know they did very well considering who they're up against and like you know even though obviously they didn't get the desired prize at the end um, you know they have a lot to work on going next season like you know being able to put up that kind of fight against all Ireland champions like 
you'd want to be proud like you know they like obviously like me be me as i was saying but like god i should like keep their heads up high after that great performance yeah without doubt because me you know have shown that they're absolutely true champions and the backbone that they have of you know emma doug and vicky wall like it's right up there with the best teams we've seen over the last decade in my opinion i think they're that good to bring it into the dublin dynasty in the way that they did last year mm. and i think they're right up there but yeah me into the next round 112 to 111 they will move on to play against Donegal. and just we just spoke about that Donegal dublin game which team are you actually fancying here to uh to get through to the final um it's hard to know like obviously um you know i can't see obviously me kind of you know they'll have to say the may wake up call and just kind of you know as we are saying being the scene that they are um you know it's i'm very i can't call the mayo mayo carry next weekend even though i'd love to see Catherine sullivan um go up to lift the brendan martin um my prediction not being biased now i'd have to say me and mayo like you know mayo like we've seen they've had an awful year awful seasons throughout and like you know now like even in general male ladies football is finally starting to get recognition here in Mayo. and like you know as we were saying like there was obviously there's absolutely brilliant talent throughout but um i want i'd hope now to see at least me and Mayo final yeah i mean it's definitely a good show because i i can see me going in playing to the same level that they played against Galway here. I think with all due respect to Dun- to Galway, I think Donegal present probably a harder challenge. And if Meath play to the same level, I think Donegal won't let them get away yeah. with it this time. Meath were on track for a comfortable victory. They took their eye off the ball. I don't think they'll do that against Donegal. And I think, um, yeah. especially having seen that Donegal put three goals past Dublin in 11 minutes, like Meath would be yeah. very cautious not to let them build up a run like that. So, yeah, I'm going me to win that one, but it will be a fascinating one anyway. That's the match review of this quarterfinal. Make sure you check out the other three match reviews of the Donegal Dublin game, as I mentioned. Kerry Amma and Mayo Cork. Until the next one, guys, take care.